A little late to this specific video. This one came out a couple days ago. This is the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl gameplay breakdown. So it's like a six minute video showing more gameplay. Some of the mechanics I hope and we can kind of compare it to some of the, you know, party brawlers out there like Smash and there's like a Brawlhalla, which is another really popular one. Uh, PlayStation All-Stars, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. So this is Nickelodeon's and I'm pretty excited. I love the properties, all the, I, you know, most of the properties here, at least on the very early ones I like. So let's get started. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, sub Reno, and come to the Twitch where all of this is being recorded. Link in the description. Who are you going to main? I want to play cat dog. Let's go. All right. So we're going we're gonna to watch it and then break it down and talk about it. I'm pretty excited for this game. I don't know when it comes out. Maybe it was like next month or something. Hey, everybody. Hey. Stadius Cruz, character Dad, designer and programmer. Dude, Patrick's got a fight stance. Brawl. And today, we're going to be showing off some of the mechanics. All right, cool. Why is someone looking at us? This is a platform fighter, meaning that the objective is to read out your opponent. Damn, forward smash? Forward Breaking smash? Out an opponent has everything to do with their percentage. I mean, low percent, it's pretty smashy, but... I mean, it's not like they have a copy. At high you know. percents, they'll go flying. As long as it's different enough, you know. You won't want to go all out to begin with. It looks cool. You'll need to start out with light attacks. Light yeah. attacks are the Ooh. option to Down tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Let's go. All right. Interesting. And like you'll see with Patrick. most attacks, Fun they come in pairs of three. Light up, light down, yeah. and light mid. Yeah, of course. Course. Once you've built up enough percent, it's, sh it's you just can move smash. On to strong attacks. It is just smash. These two come in up, down, mid. Yes. They don't want to see the forward. Part, these kinds of boobs will be fairly similar across the cast. Where characters really diverge is in their specials. This is pretty exciting. Just as before, they come in three flavors: mid, uh huh, up. Oh, it's a cover. Down. What are you doing? Damn, he's chomping at the bit. Extend to the air as well. All characters have three light attacks in the air. Wow. Three special attacks in the air. And three strong attacks in the air. Whoa, three strong attacks. In regards to strongs, the direction That's you a little choose different. determines the interaction with other strongs. Down huh. beats mid and causes a stagger. What? Mid what? beats up and causes a turnaround. Dude, there's counters? Up beats down and causes a spin out. That's pretty cool. They have counters? The primary exception to the directional system is in the form of dash attacks. Oh. Once you build enough speed on the ground, you will see a dashing effect. Oh, there it is. I saw it. This indicates that you can perform a dash light or a huh. dash strong. Jeez. Up, nope. On hit, these attacks can be canceled. Whoa, canceling move! Anything. anything. This is. In addition to attacks, grabs also cool. fall into this directional system. Huh. Or more specifically, throws. What the hell, dude? While holding something, this looks insane. You're able to move around freely, and if you're on the ground, get a jump out. Everyone's Donkey Kong. What's more, you can actually grab in the air. Even after a double jump. Okay, this is gonna be super imbalanced, this whole game. And just like the ground, you could throw in the air. There is so much more, like, nuance. Guarding in this it, game oh is indefinite. There is no penalty for holding it down. Okay. Instead, the penalties come in the form of being pushed back. If you reach a ledge, you enter teeter. If you're hit oh. again in the space, you can be punished. Wow, I really like these mechanics. A guard can become more effective by either timing it to the hit, Picked up the phone, and this is Patrick. The of the attack. Push block? Wow, push block. Doing both initiates a Somewhat. perfect guard. Where you can react immediately. Mm, neat. Okay. But you won't need to guard all the time. Especially if somebody's coming at you with projectiles. <laughs> Instead, just hit them right back. Yeah. Oh. The projectiles in this game follow a leveling system in that the more they're redirected, the more powerful they Dude, become. Dude, Legend of Zelda. And that's not all. Those grabs from before. What? You didn't think they were just for players. What is happening? In regards to movement, at all times, characters have the freedom to turn. Yes. Both on the ground and 
in the air. This turn system can be locked huh. by holding strength. You can lock? Using the left trigger on most controllers, you will put your character into a state where they are incapable That's of turning at all. interesting. Both on the ground and in the air. Huh. That's like Ryu and, and like the, the Shotos and Smash right now. To do all of your aerials in multiple directions. On the flip side, wow. a benefit of strafing is that you're able to do full retreating attacks without yeah. compromising movement whatsoever. Oh, that's interesting. So you can bubble forward while jumping On backwards. On the topic of movement, there is also air dashes. Yes. Eight directions air or what? Air dashes grant no invincibility, but are fully actionable after the fact. No invincibility. You only get one per air time. They have to mention that because it's exactly like Smash. However, the downwards air dashes are a lot more unique. They are oh. significantly faster. Air dash? Can and you are actionable can you wave dash? any attack. By Dude. utilizing downwards air dashes, you can wave land. Wave? And if you can wave land, you can wave dash. Dude, what the balls is this? They tried to And last but oh my God. certainly not least. It's almost over already? You can't have a platform fighter without taunts. What? What? Oh my, they showed so Everybody much in this game. Okay. Okay, w when they first announced it, I thought, okay, wow, a little, a little, you know, tiny brawler that's going to fail. Just like all of the other ones that they tried to do. And I didn't like the graphics starting off because it, it kind of like meshes a little bit. Like, I think this is the Ninja Turtle one. You can see the Channel 6 in the background. So this is the Ninja Turtle stage. Um, the models are okay now that I look at them, you know, being played and the, you know, getting a good look at them rather than the the cinematic, like, reveal they had of it. It was a little ugly, but this one's, a, you know, a little better for sure. Um, I thought this game was going to be simple, like simple, simple, but it has pretty much the same mechanics as Smash and maybe a little bit more. For example, in the air, not only do you have your regular... Um, attacks but you have strong versions of your attacks up there as well as your specials and then you have the strafe ability which is new and then the the paper uh, the rock paper scissors mechanics and blocking to push i don't think they said anything about um shield dashing though like holding guard and going left and right they didn't say anything about that so it's it's more of um oh god i don't know like this is pretty cool i like it a lot i can't wait is there a release date? Because, oh my god, it's coming to everything? Uh, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC. I cannot believe it's coming to PC, dude. What is happening? Dude. Mewtwo King. Oh, Mewtwo King. I follow him. Dude, this is great. Yeah, I know this is Patrick Attack. Voice acting. Yeah, yeah, they should have some voice acting in here. Oh my god. SpongeBob can wave dash. Dude, the people who made this obviously are, you know, big fans of Smash. And they're putting their, you know, it's very, 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 very similar. But they have a little bit of a spin on it. And it looks like it can be even a little more complicated. What they didn't sort of explain is if there's going to be, you know, items that pop up. What kind of lives are there? Maybe it's like, you know, basic stock. Maybe it's going to be time-based, stamina modes. So... It's showing the combat and stuff, which looks great. Like, the, the base, the foundation, what they have here looks good. Now, you know, upcoming to the release, what else are they going to show? More characters. If this game is crazy popular, I hope they have a plan to add more because they have a gigantic library. A huge, gigantic library of Nintendo characters. Then the air grabs. Everyone can jump up and grab. It's insane. So, I'm pretty excited for this. I want to see more. It looks crazy promising.